The new Pasco Smart Cart Demo Kit doesn't just help you do demos, it includes the resources you need to do demos right. The most important part of the Smart Cart Demo Kit isn't the included Smart Cart, the Smart Cart Ballistic Cart Accessory, no, not the Smart Fan Accessory, or the Smart Cart Rod Stand Adapter, or even the amazing Smart Cart Vector Display. The most important part is the Smart Cart Demonstration Manual that comes with each kit. This manual has details about each of the 16 demonstrations, including an overview, an equipment list, teacher tips, advanced preparations, step-by-step -step instructions, and a Pasco capstone or SparkView software configuration file. Let's see how this all works together to ensure your demonstrations are successful and effective at helping students learn. The first demonstration in the manual is differences between velocity and acceleration. The overview makes it clear that we're observing a cart going up and down a ramp. The equipment list lets us know we need a dynamics track, two end stops, and a way to tilt the ramp, plus the smart cart and vector display that come with the kit. Among the teacher tips is advice on how to elevate the track and ensure its orientation facilitates student observation. I'm always forgetting to charge things at work, so the tip about charging the batteries ahead of time is perfect for me. The detailed pictures in the preparation section ensure that everything gets set up correctly every time. The demonstration instructions are almost like the script I'm reading now. They tell me everything I need to do and say. The predictive questions are formatted so that they can easily be placed into PowerPoint or other display software for use with a classroom response system. I can open up the included configuration file, connect to the device with Bluetooth, and be ready to go. After the students make their predictions, they can see the results on the vector display and on the resulting graphs. Providing multiple representations of the results improves student learning. This learning is maximal when students are surprised by an outcome that opposes a firmly held belief. For example, when they see the acceleration is constant and directed down the ramp after the cart is pushed up, Many students will predict that the acceleration will change direction or that the acceleration will be zero at the top. Students will start to abandon these ideas after being asked to predict the outcome of the demo and see a multitude of data that conflicts with their beliefs. The configuration file makes it easy to transition from one type of demonstration to another. For example, demo number five, Newton's First Law, starts with an inertia demo using just the smart cart with the vector display off. Students predict what will happen when the track is pulled quickly to the left. Some students will be surprised to see that the cart remains still, even if they've learned about Newton's first law. You can quickly activate the vector display and ask them to predict what the acceleration and force will look like as the cart is moving down the track unimpeded, and when it encounters an obstacle. The multiple representations of the data ensures that students will remember the outcome. The rich detail in the graphs leads to an in-depth discussion that can reveal common student misconceptions and help change them. I did notice one thing missing from the Smart Cart demonstration manual. It did not advise you to have a student perform demo number 14, centripetal acceleration. Otherwise, you might get too dizzy to teach. If you're looking for an easy way to up your demonstration game, the Smart Cart demonstration kit is a smart choice. We didn't even get to everything in the kit. 
You can find videos of demos using the Smart Ballistic Cart accessory and the Smart Fan accessory on our website. We also have another video about using the Smart Cart demonstration kit for distance learning. Thanks for watching.